health is number one. And if you're not healthy, you'll be laid up in some hospital bed somewhere and you won't be able to look good and feel good and get your job done and take care of your kids and all the other fun things that you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, just a couple little highlights that I really want to bring up as far as taking care of yourself is, you know, kidney functions. You know, a lot of you guys don't drink enough water, you know, and make sure that you guys stay healthy that way. A lot of people go and get their blood work done, their kidney functions aren't right. Um, high liver enzymes, you know, your liver is everything that, everything goes through your liver. If it's not operating properly, you're not gonna be able to, you know, make sure that you're staying healthy and optimal. Um, another thing, guys, is your high hemoglobin hematocrit levels. This is a huge one because I think I talk to maybe like six, seven, eight, maybe 10, 15, I don't know, people a day <laughs> in reference to this. But um, if you have a high hemoglobin hematocrit level, I mean, your, your blood gets thick, it doesn't go to where it needs to go on time, and it's sticky. And you know, if you don't get rid of that blood, this is what causes like pulmonary embolisms, blood clots, heart attacks, you know, all the negative things you hear that, you know, if you're not taking care of yourself and staying up to date on the blood work, you're not gonna know these things. High PSA readings for you guys out there. I mean, you gotta make sure you stay on top of this stuff, guys, it's so important. These are just vital organs that I'm talking to you about because it's very difficult to get, you know, kidneys or, you know, anything like that. If you go, if you run out of your liver, you're, you're done for. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of bring some awareness to you guys because health is very important and it's super important to make sure you monitor these things and make sure you stay on top of it because if, if you're not on top of your health, I mean, who else is going to be on top of your health, you know? So stay on top of your health, take care of your body. You only have one body. Take care of your one body, okay? This is your temple. Make sure you take care of it and make sure you keep it operating and running. Everybody wants to be around for their kids and their grandkids and, you know, so forth. So, you know, take care of yourselves out there, guys. Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center and I want to talk to you today about BPC-157. This healing peptide is amazing. It helped me get back to working out and I'm lifting the way that I was previously. It has collagen boosters to really help with that repair and maintenance of those fibrous tissues like your muscles, ligaments, and tendons. It helps to down-regulate cytokines and atkin sequestrins which play a role in the inflammatory process within the body and then helps with angiogenesis genesis, which is the growth of new blood vessels to really bring and support nutrients to the tissues. If you have any nagging injuries, inflammation, tendonitis, this is going to be the healing peptide for you. Call and text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys, John here, Memorial Day weekend down at St. Pete Beach and uh, the Titan family's down here, some of the Titan family anyway. So we're down here and we're shooting a whole bunch of cool content for a healthy lifestyle, beach bodies, the whole nine, right? And it's been it's been an awesome experience so far and I um, just want to tell you guys, like, listen man, there's a lot of work that goes in the background of it, but we want to show you guys that, hey listen, you can be healthy and happy at the same point and enjoy yourself right and look good and feel good and perform your best every single day and on these big weekends like memorial day you know obviously we want to you know make sure that we know the true meaning of memorial day weekend you know and big big shout out to all our veterans out there people who have lost their lives for our country our current active military that are out there we love you guys support you guys 100 percent um, and at that point, you know, after that, listen, spending time with your loved ones, it's a big weekend, right? Prioritize these things. And if you do have family or loved ones, make sure you're spending time with them, right? Your family, your own personal family, your kids, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever it is. And if you don't have anybody, go out, find some people, have a good time, enjoy yourself. That's what it's all about. De-stressing and enjoying your Memorial Day weekend and giving thanks to our military members out there for everything that's done. So we got some really, really cool stuff that's been going on out here. Wait till you guys see all the videos that we do. And check this view out. I mean, it's just amazing out here. St. Pete Beach is definitely one of my favorite beaches. I know Clearwater Beach is phenomenal. It's known nationwide. 
but this is more relaxed out here. And St. Pete Beach is definitely a more relaxed atmosphere than Clearwater Beach. So at that point, you know, we love to come down here and just enjoy ourselves and kind of relax a little bit. And uh, we just decided that we're gonna put some extra work in. Use this relaxing time for us. We're chilling by the pool, doing the family thing. But we have this, such a big space. We're like, listen, we gotta bring some of the Titan people out here, the Titanettes, Titans, get some cool content for you guys. Uh, and just have a good time, man. This is like team bonding too as well. It's not just all business, which is really, really cool. So big shout out to you guys. Live healthy, enjoy your weekend. Have a great time with your loved ones, your family, your friends, whoever it is. And make sure, guys, you guys are living the tight lifestyle every single day. If you don't know what that consists of, then just keep coming back to Titan Medical Center. And I'll remind you every single day of the week what that means and who you are. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Enjoy yourselves. Much love. My brother, what are you doing, man? Oh, shit. I'm like, this is so perfect. Check this thing out. Dude, keep a small circle. Yeah. This is what I told you, shoes. This thing was sick when I seen it, dude. Keep a small circle. Yeah. I was wrong about it. It was really sick. That's how you want to be an expert on the true old ones. That's what's so crazy. Don't, right? Don't you like the original? Yeah, I love it. I needed that money. When you bought this one, I definitely needed that. Hey, man, I'm here for you. It's all right, bro. That's amazing. I remember that one, too. This could be you with a beard and my brother hair a little bit. I still got the bottle. I'm going to put that over the bottle. Yeah, we kept that. And I got the clothing still. I think that's going in the house for sure. This is going to go in the house. I need to go in the house. Yeah, this is definitely going to go in the house. I'll put it over here until I get the truck to bring it back. Yeah, this is not. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Andre Adams here doing an unboxing for Titan Medical. Just got my therapies for the month and I'm excited to share a little bit about some of these with you guys. First one I've got is actually the Titan Up product. Again, one of my favorites, you know, in addition to Hercules Potion, Titan Up is another injectable therapy with a complex of vitamins and some aminos that's gonna help you reach your goals. We've got a couple ingredients such as methionine and choline that help speed up the removal of excess fats in the liver. These are great antioxidants, also help with things like neurotransmission, uh, cell membranes, and all these good things that you want when you're trying to stay healthy and maintain proper liver function. Uh, there's a full complex of B vitamins, everything from B1, which is thiamine, B2, all the way through uh, B12 for your complex. That's gonna help boost up some uh, fats, carbohydrate metabolism, and natural, natural energy production. There's also one of my favorites, leucine. It's an essential amino acid. Um, that's gonna be something that your body can't manufacture, so you only get that through um, diet and supplement intake. Uh, but that one is uh, another great amino that's gonna help keep your body anabolic and avoid muscle wasting or breakdown of muscle tissue. Uh, last but not least, we've got L-carnitine. That's another great all-around amino acid. It's found in nearly every cell in the body, and L-carnitine also plays a critical role in the production of energy from long-chain fatty acids, and it's gonna help you, again, boost up some natural energy production, keep you focused, and reaching your fitness goals. So, guys, that's all I've got for now. If you have any questions, Feel free to contact me direct or head on over to www.titanmedicalcenter.com or you can call or text the main line at 727-389-3220. All right, guys. Hey, guys. John here. And today I want to talk to you about something that's super important that both males and females 
definitely need to do every year or maybe even multiple times a year. And that's blood testing. That's right. And I'm not talking about your basic blood testing that maybe you get from a general practitioner that covers like liver, kidneys, electrolytes, maybe some cholesterol, and that's it. No, I'm talking about super in-depth blood panels that not only cover those things like liver, kidney, electrolytes, but I'm talking about cholesterol, prostate, IGF-1 levels, hormones like free and total testosterone, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, B12 levels, thyroid levels, things that are truly going to help you improve your quality of life and you should really know what's going on with because they can affect all the other different functions in your body. I mean, let's talk about this. Let's talk about weight gain because that's a big one out there. Let's talk about foggy thinking. Let's talk about a major one, energy levels. How many different energy supplements are on the market? Why do you think it's a multi-billion dollar business? It's because people need energy because they feel so tired and lethargic. Why? This can be directly correlated with a deficiency in hormones that you can easily fix and go upon your way without taking all these other over-the-counter supplements that might make you feel bad or they're bad for your health anyway that you really shouldn't be taking. This is what blood work can truly tell you. It's a true diagnostic of what's going on in the inside of your body. You know how we take our cars into a shop and they hook a little thing up, a little computer, and they can tell all the codes that are going on inside the car, and they are like, oh, we need to fix this or this. That is what blood work is to you. If you've invested all this money and things in a car, why aren't you investing them in yourself first? You should be your number one investment. Because like that car, if you're not running or in good shape, you're probably going to break down. And with a car, it's pretty easy. You can fix it, right? But with your body, it might be a lot harder to fix or might not be repairable. So guys, take it serious. And if you're not getting blood work, start. There's no time like today. Do not delay on this. Don't say, well, I don't want to know what's going on or I'm scared to know what's going on. That's ignorance talking, right? Let's be smart about these things. Make educated decisions and do the best for yourself you possibly can. You deserve it. So guys, if you want help in this, Titan Medical Center can help you. All you have to do is take the first step and call or text today. 727-389-3220. And if you want to check out all the cool therapies we have too, just go to TitanMedicalCenter.com. I appreciate your time. And I want you to take your health as serious as I do. Thank you. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, and look at her beautifully curled hair, right? I did my makeup today. <laughs> <laughs> are coming at you guys with great topics, tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole nother level. Now, don't worry. If you're single, these things will help you guys too. It'll just be in your future relationship coming up. And you'll have all the tools you'll need to have a hopefully a successful and long lasting relationship. And if you guys are in a relationship right now, use some of these things. Use it at your disposal. Don't wait for things to get bad. And if you want to look at all the other tips and tricks that me and Sharice have came up with or talked about in the past, then you guys can always go to our YouTube page, hit the subscribe button there, or even download the podcast and listen to them on the go. And you'll get all this great information that we've been talking about almost about two years now, I think, it's right? Been a while, yeah. It's been a long time, right? But with no further ado, let's talk about the topic that we have for this week. And it's a beautiful thing. It's gonna be Father's Day today. Haha, <laughs> when you're seeing this, right? Yes. So Father's Day is a big important, I think, holiday in the year because I'm a father. Very important. Right? And um, obviously June's also Men's Health Month. And I haven't heard this too much 
from anybody out there in the public. But I think it's something that we need to focus in on too as well. Because we do have Mother's Day and Women's Health Month, and that's important. And Father's Day and Men's Health Month is just as important, right? Because think about it. You wouldn't be here on this earth if two people didn't tango, right? A male and a female, okay? Tango. To produce you or that produced us right here on this beautiful planet. You know, actually, now that you bring that up, it's so funny because, you know, me and John, we did a tango dance too. And guess what showed up for his Father's Day gift? Peter John Sikor. That's right. <laughs> Didn't he? He showed up one day. Was it on Father's Day that year? Yeah, so the first year he was born was on Father's How Day. How cool is that? Yeah. That your kid was born on Father's Day and you became a father, truly became a father with the born baby. Yes. On Father's Day. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. And now the only bad thing is, is that they got he's gotta share a birthday with the Father's Day and it's like, you know, you gotta share year. with daddy. Not it doesn't year. matter. It's it's, it's at the weekend. Oh, it's usually the weekend. Yeah. It's usually a couple of days. I'm saying it's still his, yeah. it's it's a birthday Father's Day weekend. So you know, I'd be interested to see when Peter has his kids how that works out. Oh. So you can have a nice little double generation. The the you know grandfather must be here because it's Father's Day. Well, Should I mean, be interesting. It birthday, might, it Father's might go Day. in Peter's favor because Peter's birthday is before Father's Day. So when he becomes a father, he'll get his birthday present, and then two days later or a day later, whatever it is in that year. Oh. He'll be like, listen, where's my Father's Day present? That's not how it goes. You know, you guys know what's going to happen. It's the combined gift. No. That, that's this usually Christmas babies. Your Father's Day and that's why. slash birthday gift is here. <laughs> you're welcome, Peter. If you're a father and you're in this, this little tangle that we're in, okay, <laughs> require them to get you something or leave require you alone for the day or do something for you as a father, oh okay? Require them. Go get some underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but no, in all, in all seriousness, you know, Men's Health Month is a big month, yes. right? Father's Day is obviously an important day that we need to, you know, give a big shout out to all the fathers out there doing the right thing, right? Because anybody can become a father. Anybody can get a girl pregnant, but it takes a true man or a real father to mm -hmm. stand by that and want to teach his, his young lady or his offspring the right way to be a man in this world. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being a man or being masculine in this world, too. I, I see a lot of different things out there about that, too. You know, masculinity is not toxic. Masculinity is what makes us men. There's masculine hormones. It's the, this is not toxicity right there. Um, you know, and it's a big thing because us men, you know, as, as we've evolved, right? We went from out there hunting, supplying all the food, breaking everything down for our families. Well, now we have, you know, we have women and they're equal in the same part where they can go do some of these different things too. We'll go shit a couple of things. But the men should always lead their pack, right? And they should always be the alpha of the pack, I think, and that's my opinion. Now, not to say, there, old school not to say there's not women out there that can be alphas too as well. I never take that away from a woman. I never look down Listen, on a woman. I'm an alpha, right? right? I'm an alpha. I'm just not an alpha when I'm with John. John's the alpha that's when right. we're together. That's right. But outside of that, I'm the alpha. That's right. So I've come to this realization <laughs> after what 15 years. It's only Before taking that. me. <laughs> it's only taking me about 10 years, a decade to figure it out, right? Uh, yeah, how about I just make sure it was perfect at that point? You know, it's been it's been moving. It's a work in progress, right? It's always a work in progress. You can always be better, right? Yes, all absolutely. And this is everything you guys do across the board, even relationships, which we're talking about today. So, you know. If you're in a relationship, obviously, if your partner is a father or the father of your child, obviously, hey, listen, you want to do something for Father's Day, right? Um, you know, mothers get their day and they get to do what they want. Fathers should be the exact same way. And, you know, a lot of times, like, dads don't really, we don't care about gifts. It's not about that, I don't think. I think it's really about spending time with your family, right? Um, and just going over, like, how happy you are. Just be, you know, you're blessed to have a family. Some guys out there or females, they never get that chance. They never get to have kids or whatever it may be. There's certain things that happen and it just doesn't work out that way, whether they're infertile or they just, you know, haven't found the right partner or just didn't come about that, right? So if you have that dad in your house, make sure you show him some love. If you're out of the house or, you know, your dad's not around you, give him a call, give him a text. Make sure you shout out and tell him how much you love him, right? And with Men's Health Month and Father's Day, let's talk about how their quality of life is. So. You know, majority of the time, like us dads, we take a lot of stress. You know, I mean, moms do too, right? Both in their different lights of, of what they do. So yeah, this abundance of stress. It's I an abundance of stress. I'm talking about. All right. It's, <laughs> it's like an abundance. It's an abundance of stress. Um, <laughs> and, you know, as we age and we get older, I mean, you know, different things happen to us guys. And, 
you know, I'm going to talk about another topic today, you know, later on you know, in another scene that we're talking about how men are more, more likely not to get checkups and why they don't get checkups. The right? breaths. Uh, yeah, right. you know, it's, it's an egotistical thing, like I'm a man or... You guys are being breaths. Most of the studies point that men think that they're more healthier than the other men out there, and that's why they don't go get checkups majority of the time. That's dumb. So that's really your ego or you being uneducated, you know? It, it's a form of ignorance, right? Thinking that you know it and you're uneducated about it, and I'm not calling you ignorant or stupid. Why not be ahead of the game, right? Definitely being ahead, and you know, some people are like, well, I, I don't want to go in because I don't want to find anything wrong. Well, that's probably the worst excuse I ever hear from out of people's mouths. I hear it. Because at that point, you want to go in and you want to make sure like, you can find things at early stages if possible. Because if things keep going on and on and on, think about your car and you're driving down the street and you've got two tires out. Now, eventually, you're going to keep going. And if you're going 80 miles an hour, those tires are probably going to come off. Something else is going to happen to the vehicle. And you're probably going to break down and have a, or have a crash. So you don't want this to happen to your body as males. Um, and you know, us men, we don't have to deal with like menstrual cycles or anything like that, but we have to deal with everything else that goes on with our body. And there's yeah, a lot of Yeah, you guys get this really cool thing that happens. It's called a prostate exam. Ooh. And you guys have to do this thing where you get an exam with a finger. Now, just so you she know. She just had to add, add that in. I had to. I, mean, I, I think she why likes this. Every, this every time a guy goes in for a prostate exam, she's laughing. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, listen. Guy, oh. I gotta make it. I, I I have to make it. Listen, I've been do. I've been in the medical field for. Let's not stamp the age now, because I'm not a day over 25. However, I have been in the medical field for almost 18 years. That's a long time, right? So in that 18 years, I've seen a lot. I've you know experienced a lot of different situations, that kind of stuff. And I'm telling you guys, honestly, any guy that's over the age, and I'll give you guys a little bit of window. Any guy that hits 45. If you hit 45, you need to get a prostate exam. Make sure you don't have an enlarged prostate. Make sure you get your PSA reading. It's important. It's really important. You guys skip it I, because you guys I don't agree. want to do it. I understand. You don't want to go in there and get the finger. That's fine. However, it's important. It's like super important. If we're going to talk about men's health, I agree. I'm I telling you, these are things that are, that are uh, they're skipped often. And it's because you just don't want to do it. That's fine. It's kind of like me, right? I don't want to go to the dentist. I hate the dentist. They have to put me to sleep just to clean my teeth. That's sad. However, I've had very, very bad experience with dentists. But I mean, it's the same thing, right? If I don't get my teeth cleaned, I'm probably going to end up in a bad situation yeah. with some sort of periodontitis. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows, right? So just make sure you get your prostate check. It's important. I know it's uncomfortable. You don't like it, whatever. But it might save your life. So on that note, prostate exams, yeah, are definitely recommended after 45. You know, usually you want to say 40s. And at that point, listen, you can also take a blood test first, mm -hmm. and this might show if your prostate is enlarged, right? And you'll know right away. And then you can go get, you know, back up with the finger test and make sure everything's good to go. Now, there are other tests that are coming out for the prostate, so you guys won't have to get this possibly in the future. So right now, it's not there, but it's, it's, it is almost there for, Hopefully, for man, men to be is, able to do this. Hopefully, man. We're 2022 now, guys. Come you know? on. Um, so at that point, that, that's a big one. And, you know, the reason that she brings up prostate, and I would definitely regard prostate, is because prostate cancer is on the rise too as well. Mm -hmm. The numbers keep getting higher and higher every year. So this is something that we need to look out for as, as us as males, because females don't have prostates. Us guys, we're the only guys that have prostates. So at that point, we need to check these things out. Make we sure make such a good. big deal about breast cancer, right? Yeah. So why would we not make a thing for prostate cancer? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's, just, it's, it's the same exact scenario, except breast cancer is for, me, for females, yep. and prostate cancer is more in direction of males. No. So, I mean, you gotta you got to bring it up, right? right? You can't be scared to bring up topics that you don't want to discuss. And guys, males out there can get breast cancer too as well. 100%. Okay, so that's not just a female thing. That, that can be also be true with males out there too as well. So if your family has history of breast cancer on both sides and you're a male, this could possibly put you at a higher risk. You want to make sure you, you're looking at these different things. Your family history and your health history are going to go together. Um, and even though you might not say, oh, well, I'm healthy right now. Now, if you have a lot of you know, issues with your family history on both sides, you're at higher risk for these different things. Um, so these are different things you need to look out for. Now, us as males, like I said, as we get older, we decline. Our hormones, you know, they start becoming deficient or not optimal. And this causes us a lot of other issues out there. We're tired, right? Lethargic, brain fog. Uh, you know, our metabolism is not what it used to be, you know? Uh, you know, you're eating and you're doing exercise, but you're not recovering either. And things just aren't moving on the scale or result-wise. You know, you have to look at what's really going on inside. 
And a lot of people wait on this too. They just, they cover up these different symptoms like energy or lethargic and give it energy drinks or caffeine pills or whatever it is to cover up the symptoms. Band-Aids. This is not getting to the root to the problem. Um, you know, you're covering up a bleeding wound with a Band-Aid like she's saying. And at that point, you really want to make sure you're doing the diagnostics inside too as well. So what do I mean by that? So what I mean by that is, is doing a fully in-depth blood panel on yourself. Now, not normally one that you get from your general practitioner, um, you know, where it's testing your cholesterol, um, you know, your liver and your kidneys, and that's really about it. We're talking about different hormones, free and total testosterone levels, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, growth hormone levels. Plus, we want to make sure your PSA, your prostate is in check, and your liver, your kidney, and your cholesterol, and your full thyroid is in check too as well. Now, we can check for a whole bunch of other different things, but right now, we've got that Father's Day full blood panel package, which is usually $200, and we're doing it for $130 for all the dads out there, all the guys out there. We want to make sure your guys' health is in check. And if your partner, right, is a male, and you want to make sure they're good to go, right? Because I hope that you want to be with your partner for a long time. And you want them to be the healthiest and feel the best. Because when your partner feels the best, they're going to give you the best too as well. And that's just going to make things better for your relationship all the way around. And Even girls, if you're a girl, right? Girls, you get checked too. Listen, and well, this as you mentioned Cupid's Corner, we'll discount your blood work. <sighs> that's usually three hundred. We'll oh, discount wow. it down to the two hundred mark. Wow! Just if you mention Cupid's, Cupid's Corner, Cupid's Corner, and Sharice with the curls, because yep. you'll never see me. Like oh, that. there you go. So now I'll know you watched the episode. So guys. <laughs> Guys, take this as an important message to you to make sure you're keeping your health in check. It's number one investment. It's something that you need to take care of yourself and take care of your family in the future. If you're a wife, uh, fiance, girlfriend, or just a friend of somebody that's a guy that you may think that needs this, get it, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's our message. Hit the Father's Day Blood Work Special. You females take advantage of it too. Make sure you uh -huh. mention Cupid's Corner for Sharice. And we're going to be back to you guys every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys don't watch it live, DVR it. Or if not, go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and watch all the great videos. Hit for me, button. my wife, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye, guys.